and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Redo. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. So we just defeated Cognazzo. We just got uh, Sid into the party here, and he comes mildly equipped, but not well equipped. So let's just put a little something-something on him for now. But this is all temporary gear. Now there's a few things we want to do. I've, I've already taken the liberty of rearranging our party. So we've got three in the front row and Tella in the back. And I also healed them up in Cecil's room. We're going to go and get an augment right now. And this is an augment that is one of the more evasive ones. This augment, if now assuming it reigns true that all the augments are in the game as supposed, uh, Cognazzo's augment, I forget what it's called, I think it's called Hurricane or Tsunami or something, Tidal Wave, it's actually in the last dungeon we were in. It's actually on the third floor of the basement. So I'll at least show you how to get there. I need to stop doing that because it makes me walk slower. And, uh, you know what I'll do to save time? I'll, uh, nah, we'll, we're good. I'll show you how, where it is. It's on the, th the basement third floor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I actually skipped this the first time I played it on DS. And then, uh, you know, every time I beat a game once or twice, I'll, I went to look at a list of augments and noticed that I didn't get his. So I searched throughout Baron Castle. No luck. Um, and so then I eventually came down here and I found it. Um, which was weird because, you know, it was just strange that it was just all the way down here, you know? It's one of those weird kind of scenario situations where you're like, yeah, I had to travel to fucking hell and back to find that goddamn thing. And he didn't constrict, uh, Yang, so we're fine. There we go. Do -do -do. And Yang has leveled. Yeah, it's Yang. Yang! It's fucking Yang, okay? I know people who have that as a name. It's fucking last name. It's fucking Yang. They would be insulted if you called him Yang. Probably all the weird stereotypes. Alright, let's keep moving. So as you can see, we're down here on the third floor. I believe it's over here. God damn it, no, that leads up. I want to go this way. Should be somewhere around here. Um, okay, it wasn't. Then it's uh up in the center area then. It's in one of the areas around here. We'll find it. So let's go here. Maybe it's in the middle area. God damn it. Alright, running, running, running. Let's see. There it is. And there's, okay, the tsunami augment. I knew it was something like that. Alright, so we got that. Yay. And let's use Tella to warp us the fuck out of here. To lead us back to Baron Castle. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go say heal up real quick and make another save for us, and uh, then we're gonna explore the world. But I don't want to waste time while I heal up. All right, so now we are in the overworld. And bitches, yep, that's right. We got ourselves a fucking airship. And there's a lot of places to go. As you can see, the big, wide world here. I think there's an achievement for unveiling, for revealing the entire map, so I might actually do that. Now, to continue the story forward, we must go to the country of Troya, which is where we're flying right now. Um, that's kind of the reason I'm just... I've got the map up, but I'm not landing there yet. It is... Did I pass it and I just... You guys didn't get to see it or some shit? It's over here somewhere. There it is. There's the Kingdom of Troya. That is for where we want to go for the story to continue forth. But that's not what we want to do. Anytime in any RPG game when you acquire a new means of traveling, chances are there are places that you can choose to go to. There are three primarily of interest. And if you are, are playing this version of the game, there's actually a place where we can go to get some uh, delicious augments. 
And we're going to want to do that too. So fly, fly, fly. You can just see I'm trying to unravel this mess. Now there's this area here, but we're not going to attempt this first. We're going to come back to this. This is the continent of Ebalon. And that tower is a very important tower for the story. I'm not going to give that away yet. And then there's going to be some I an island or two over here. One of them is relevant, and we will stop there. That's actually our one of our stops. It's not my first stop, but it's definitely a stop. Let's see. Here it is. Now, there's not really much here. There really isn't much here in uh, Agard. I was going to call it Algart. That's why I waited for the name to come up, because I, I was going to say Algart. There are some items, I believe, to be picked up. Now, they, again, some people have argued that that's been changed uh, from various uh, Final Fantasies. I don't believe that they've changed it here, but uh, I know there's something in here. And this gets blocked, by the way, if you don't go in here now. It's not perma block. It's not permanently blocked, but it is blocked. And you notice we're getting stuff like Gaia drums. These are all disposable things. These aren't really that valuable to you know, hang on to. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't dread, put dread or any worry on it too much. The weapon selection and armor selection in Eggart is ass. This shit is as good as what's it. There's nothing here. Nothing here that you would want. Maybe except for the two boomerangs, but we can always worry more about that uh, a little later. We don't need to have this now. Um, but the power bow, I mean, this is all garbage stuff. And I'm just showing it to you just to say we came, we saw, we observed, and you were right. It was absolute shit when we saw it. Just saying, yo. And let me see here. Uh, iron, and then this is all iron gear. This was from the beginning of the game gear. This is what uh, Kane had equipped. Um, so again, it's, it's crap. It's disposable gear. If you're trying to 100% your inventory and you didn't get Kane's gear in the beginning of the game, technically you can buy it now. So anybody who tells you that if, once, if you throw Kane's gear away, you can't get it, it's, it's total crap. You can buy the spear there as well. I think there's an item over here, and there's a few grasses, grassiest areas, grass, and I, uh, there's a few grass areas to the wet east of this area on the lower platform. And we're pretty much good. Like I said, Agart has very little things of interest. I mean, we did just pick up a free cottage, so I can't complain too much. I think that used to be a tent, but I'm not keeping that close of a tab on it. And a phoenix down. We're also going to go buy the item shop. I want to buy some echo... Uh, I think it's called echo herbs. Echo grass. That removes the silence status effect, because... If I'm not mistaken, Cecil in the U.S. release of Final Fantasy IV actually learns Esuna, and he's a good substitute for that. But currently, the only person that can use Esuna now is Tella. And so it's rather relevant that we... Uh... Oh, this is not important right now. It's rather relevant uh, for us to acquire a means to remove that really nasty status effect. Um, because right now, like I said, we only have one way of removing it, and that's Tella, and if he gets silenced and I don't have any Echo Herbs, the game may as well just give me a big fat fucking middle finger at that point. So in the end, there should be an item shop. That's the end. I think this is the item shop. Uh, Echo Herbs. Take a sweet 15. We should get a few of everything here. Now that money is a little good, is pretty good for us. Notice I'm taking about 15 to 10 of everything. Gold needles I'm not going to spend because they're pretty expensive. And we do need some of this money later. Alright. So this is uh, Agart. Agart, whatever. Agart, Agart, whatever. And we didn't see a Gart anywhere to be found. Shame, really. Pox on this place. All right, let's reveal some of this northern part of the map because we're not going to be coming up here unless I have to. And before we move on, we're going to actually go north because we actually have one task set for us in Mysidia. We have some more augments to pick up, and it will be the augments of those poor lost twins that uh, cease to exist now, for they are turned into stone. 
Whoops. Uh, yeah, he is in here, isn't he? No, he's not. Where's the elder? Did I walk right past him not even thinking about it? He should be around here somewhere. Oh, the, you know what? That's right. He's on the fucking roof. The, of all the crystal rooms, this is the only one with an extra room attached to it. In the back here. Kind of strange, but it is what it is. There he is. Wish for you to fight without them. Let a piece of them go with you. The dual cast. Cry. Bluff. Twin cast. And two. Okay, so that's all of the augments we got from them. Because we put some augments on them before they left the party, we ended up getting dual cast and uh, bluff. Or just dual. Maybe. No, just the dual. Yeah, dual cast. Yeah, we get you get extra ones for giving them what we gave them. Normally, you just get the two twin abilities, I believe. Um, so that's really why you want to do it. You get you get better options. Dual cast kicks ass, and uh, we'll hold on to that thing for a while here. We're not going to use that right away, obviously. All right, so we've now completed this little area here. Let's get this place to the south. There we go. And there's one, there's two, so there's one more place that we need to uncover, and we're going to stop there as well. Um, good stuff to be found there. Um, very controversial what to get, though. And I will explain all of it. We passed the area, but I'm just going to reveal the rest of the map. Since we're already here. There's really nothing of any importance on this little kind of area, small area over here. But, not really a way to get to it other than air by airship. There we go, the whole world map. Okay, we didn't get an achievement for that? Weak! Ah, well. Let's land here. And hit into the town of Mithril. Everybody knows the town of Mithril. Mithril. Mith it's, it's fucking Mithril, okay? Alright. And there's some items floating around here that we want to pick up. Now, the other reason to come here is actually pretty relevant. Maiden's Kiss. Now, yeah, the reason I'm checking everywhere, by the way, is because everything is in a weird place. And yes, there are fucking pigs and frogmen here. Always found that to be a little odd, but it was in the regular game, too, and I still think it's odd. Let's see here. I know there's stuff over here in this area. And it's weird. It's like quasi-hidden. It's not exactly hidden, but it's quasi hidden. There's the Mithril Staff. And like I said, they relocated all the gear. Now you may feel the Mithril Staff is good to give to Tella. I'll just show it to you here. It just raises his spirit, but it lowers his intellect. Keep the Thunder Rod on. It's a free fucking spell cast, for crying out loud. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do it. Now, there's a Mithril Knife, I know. But it used to be up in this area, but since we can't traverse there anymore, it means they fucking moved it. So... Uh, it might be over here. 5,000 gil, yeah, that was also over there. You know, I don't know where it is. It might be in a building, too. Let's check. One of the buildings is hollowed out. It looks like they fixed that, actually. Maybe they got rid of the Mithril Knife. I don't know. I can't find it. And and that's what I don't like about this portion of the game. Is that they did that weird shit. And now, I have no fucking clue where shit is stashed anymore. I have the general idea of where it's supposed to... There it was. Yeah, right there. Random as fuck. <sighs> okay. Um, first things first. Uh, in we go. And we're going to do some buying. Just buy a Mithril Hammer. Do not buy the sword. You're not going to need that. Just buy the Mithril Hammer. And we're going to equip this on Sid. Now, some of you might be saying, what the fuck are you buying this shit for? You don't need this shit now. I want it now, damn it. Kiss my ass. I want it now, motherfucker. I want it now! Not tomorrow, not after breakfast, now. And now we're going to drop some fucking moolah here. We're going to get Sid a Mithril Shield. We're going to get one for uh, Cecil as well. That's going to be what breaks me there. <laughs> um, let's get two of these. 
two of these. And obviously I've run out of money, so let's sell off Cecil's old gear. Because the lustrous gear will be worth a pretty penny, and there's no reason to keep it. We didn't get that, that's right. Uh, Mithril Gloves. We will keep the ruby ring, don't, don't sell that. And don't sell the any of the stuff we took off Sid for the time being. There is actually a purpose of what's coming up uh, to that gear. Let's make a sale, shall we? Oh, shit. So let's sell the stuff we don't need, because we need a shit ton of money that we do not have. Sell the gauntlets, the lustrous helm, the lustrous shield. Uh, I guess I didn't put that on him. Keep that. We'll sell the mithril knife. There's no point for that. We'll sell the mithril staff. There's no use for that. We'll sell the prison garb. I don't have a piece of things. A piece of shit. Uh, we'll sell the demon gloves. I'm, yeah, I did keep that. All the old armor. We've been holding on to it for so long. This is worth like nothing. So. I'll sell one, but keep... Eh, I'll sell one. Keep the other. Sell the demon armor. Got two Gaia gear floating around. We'll sell one of them. Yeah, we'll sell one. Uh... Keep the leather clothing. Sell that. Keep the gold hairpin. I have three wizard's hats. I really only need two, so we'll sell one of those. Demon shield can go. Healing staff will stay. We can sell the polymorph rod. Sell the regular rod. That's a piece of shit. The ancient sword I have no interest in keeping. Some people like to throw it. I don't really give a shit. I just get rid of it. There we go. And we'll keep everything else. Oh, the demon helm. We can get rid of that too. Alright. So we've sorted things out a little better. So we can now buy at least one of these. We'll give it to Cecil because then we can sell his old gear for the piece that Sid's missing. Now, some of you may think this is overkill, and I'm spending way more money than I should, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I think I'm doing fine. We're at twelve thousand gil, so we're fifteen. We're five grand short. That that lustrous armor might might almost get us there. Almost does, right? We're about seven hundred short. Pretty sure I have something I can sell here. I just figure it out slowly but surely. Um, the Gaia drum, cast Quake. These things are kind of out of date. I don't really use them. Uh, this casts Blizzard. That can go. Blizzard's pretty outdated. Cast Fire. Those can go. Those are outdated as well. And Gash, the Red Fang will keep. The Gnomish Bread I never use. Um, and we're good. And that gives us enough. Look at that. And we're gonna make a shit ton of this money back, so, by the way. So for those of you who are like, Oh my god, you're wasting so much money! Shut the fuck up. I got this. There we go. Alright, we're all... Characters are decked out as needed. Get it, got it, good. Alright, thank you for enduring. And we should all be healed up fully, right? Yes. Okay, good. And let me check my inventory really quick for how many hourglasses we have here. We should have three. We have five. Okay, we're more than ready. All right. Uh, let's skedaddle. Now to... I need to explain myself here. All that money for very little things. Oh, we'll run from this, by the way. These enemies are pretty nasty. As you can see, because they just fucking turned someone into stone. <clears throat> uh, let us... We got one character that uses magic to cure. <coughs> and we can recover that back very quickly in the Chocobo Forest on our way to our next destination. We're gonna go to a place way earlier than we should. And I do this every time I play this game. Um, everybody kind of, There are some people who understand how to manipulate the next area. There's a lot of you guys, and my friends are included in this, they always see me play this and go, why the fuck do you go there? You're gonna get your ass murdered. And then I turn around and end up being the one that murders that, that kicks ass. So it works out. Um, and I'll show you what we do here. But first things first, let's get our free recovery here. 
just because, you know, we took that damage. We want to go in full health, guaranteed. No matter what, you want to go into this new area full health. Kind of feel what you kind of feel like a jackass if you didn't. So, there we go. MP is deliciously restored. Because we're going to fight some enemies that are way above our, you know, our level of, of handling and tackling. So, <clears throat> bear with us. We're also going to enter and exit this place a couple of times so we can use tents. Or f heal for free, it doesn't matter. Whatever I choose to do will be sufficient. Let's land there. I have more than enough tents, that's why. But I may as well save my tents, right? And just go to Baron's, uh... Baron's, uh, Chocobo Forest and recover. There's just, I don't think there's... Is there one on this island? I forget. I don't think there is, so... We're gonna head inside here. Which is Eblon Castle. Eblon is where the wind crystal's supposed to be? But this place ain't, ain't looking so hot, is it? It's a very dark and dank fucking place. Now, what's neat about Ibalon, though, however, is there is a lot of shit here to find. I shit you not. Now, you'll notice right away there's no random encounters, so there's nothing really that out there to worry about right out the door here. I don't believe there's anything in here. We'll be going through here shortly, so I'm not worried about it. Okay. So, and I don't... Can we get over... Yeah, there we go. We get a high potion, and I think there... There's somewhere in one of these areas is a piece of wall that kind of breaks away, but I can't... I don't think it was here. It may have been in the next floor. Like I said, this place is kind of maze-like. Luckily, there's no random encounters. Now, you might think you can get through these, but you can't. You actually gotta go one step further. I don't think this one opened. Yeah, you can see the stairways, so... What the fuck are you doing, bro? There's stairways, bro. Alright, this room needs some explanation, but first things first... It's a... There we go, a Ninja Sutra. Don't worry about what that is. It's not that important. We get an alarm clock, yay. Just what I've always wanted. Okay, I think that's it over here. I think it's the next room over. All right, so we're gonna go one room over to collect more stuff. And there's also two towers and a basement as well. We're actually going to be working our way to the basement, I believe. Based on the, the route we're taking. And a gold needle. Cottage. Maiden's Kiss. I swear it's like around here somewhere. Driving me nuts. I could be fucking wrong, too. It wouldn't be a first time. Ah, eh, fuck it. Alright, we'll keep moving around. So we collected all that stuff. And the reason I, I... Here's the deal. I'm not complete a complete idiot. I know where everything is. It's just, again, this game lays things out in very specific ways. Different than what I'm used to finding. So it, once in a while, I have to kind of play the field of where... Making sure I'm not missing any items. They decided to hide instead of just keep in plain sight where where they used to be and they not in plain sight but i knew where they were in the old game but when the ds version came out they moved some things around for their own purposes you know what i bet i believe we're in the right place now ah there we go so see you gotta come through there and through here and we get the sleep blade but at the cost of an enemy ambush these enemies will fucking end you if you let if you give oh shit if you give them the chance to the trick to these fights, though, are a little easier than one would think because of the Bronze Hourglass. So let's go ahead and... I think he's weak to ice. Um, we'll do that, and then we'll have everyone else kind of go after the Scolgers, which are the strongest things here. And they'll stay stopped long enough that we can kill them off one way or the other. When Tella's turn comes back up again, we'll have them use, like, a very powerful healing spell. Probably Cure Raja, which will wipe the floor of, uh, everything that- the skeletons. But it didn't look like we could kill the big guy, so we'll use Fire next round, even though the big guy's not weak to it. And you notice I'm still focusing on a Sol- uh, Skolja. 
I think is what they're called. Scolger, sorry. Keep your focus on one at a time. You're better off having to only fight one of these fuckers if you don't kill them off in time. That's, uh, Fyraga. And then we'll have Yang go after the big guy in the back row because he's got an Ice Claw on. It's better than fucking kick to the testicles, that's for sure. But it shouldn't heal him. And then one way or another, this battle will be over very quickly. Because I know that Soldier's got very little... He's not a big threat. Um, we'll hit. We'll use melee attacks to continue pummeling him. We'll use. Uh, I'm more concerned with the steel golem, but whatever. I'm surprised he's still standing. We might focus. Okay, never mind. Fuck it. Forget it. <laughs> we got this sorted out. Should be almost dead. If he wakes up, though, we're using ice magic. Might even use an item. I don't give a shit at that point. He he, he wakes up. This is going to get ugly. And you can see these battles are... There's no reason not to fight these battles. There's none whatsoever. We're going to use magic. He's going to wake up soon. And he's going to be very pissed. Ah, no, we got him. Uh. Look at that. That was a lot of XP right there. Sweet. So we gained some sweet-ass levels. And yeah, so here's what we're going to do, because Tella has little MP left. I'm going to go to the Chocobo Forest, recover, save, and then come back. Alright, so here we are. We're back at Castle Ibalan again. I keep saying Ibalan. It's Eblan. 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 Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright. And we've... Okay, and I actually, I saved this so you guys could see here. The Sleep Blade lowers accuracy and his spirit by three, but it gives him much stronger attack. Again, if you were wondering why I didn't uh, buy the Mithril Blade, it, the Sleep Blade's better than the Mithril Blade. And we were already strapped for cash trying to get that the, that money. And look at that, we've actually got 717 gil. And that, is our, that fight we just did is argued to be one of the easier ones. Um, there's still two other ones, and the other two are much harder. Um, but again, the same the strategy is rather rather much the same as what you just saw. There's some Baku use wine. I know that I knew that was there. There's a way to walk over there. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. I think I fucked up, but that's okay. We can come back this way. There's a way. This way. Oh, that just made me come back here. There's a way to get over there. And I know in this version, it's like the dumbest fucking thing ever. It's on this side. There we go. Silencing arrows. We don't you have anybody with bows right now, so it's not a big deal. Ten grand. Alright, now we gotta work our way to the next area. Which is over there. So there's still two more fights here, by the way. So keep that in mind as well. Alright, now again, they fuck with you, they start, they keep dicking with you, but there are ways to do it. Just gotta kinda get a feel for where they hide everything. It was a Corel Whisker. That item is an instant death item. You use it in battle, hopefully to kill something instantly. I've never had much luck with it. it. I mean, it works on regular enemies, but if you're looking to use it on a boss or something, fucking forget it. It don't work that way. I wish it worked that way, but it don't work that way. Okay. Let's grab this shit. Now be careful, there's actually a pitfall. And we don't want to go down that pitfall right away. It's a high potion. I think it's over. Yep. Okay, so to get that, we gotta go this way. Same area it was in the first, in the original version. And we get the Blood Lance at an enemy ambush. Which is interesting because we don't have a character currently that uses Lance. Ah, god damn it, I did it again. Oh, they instant. And these, yeah, these fuckers can instant death. Oh god, don't hit Cecil. You're hitting Cecil. Nope. 
See, look at look at how ugly this has already gotten, and and that fucker's confused. All right, well, I can't. Shit, we're gonna die. Yeah, just right out the door, I get fucked. Where in the fuck are my bronze hourglasses? There it is. So he's confused already. This is not a good fucking position for us to be in. I'm probably just gonna have to kill him and then pick everyone up and then use one of these a little later if I must. But, uh, we're gonna have to kill Tella before he decides to attack me. There we go. Because if he uses a magic spell on us, we're fucking done for. Alright, let's Phoenix down, Tella. We're just gonna... I'm gonna burn through three Phoenix downs. I don't give a shit. Let's get Tella up. And we'll get rid of that Lamio right away. See how ugly that got? In one round, two characters died and one of them was about to wipe the party. Most likely. Um, some of you might have said if I didn't get that mistake, made that mistake earlier, it would have been different. But I doubt it. Not, the, not by much. Now, all the enemies, however, are weak to break. The spell break. That's right. Old, rely old, uh, old faithful here. Let's get rid of that Lamia. That's a much harder enemy to kill. There we go. And item. Phoenix down. I, I want Tella to keep, keep getting his turns here. Upgrade. I don't, I don't want to fuck with that right now. That's something different. I don't remember that from uh, the first one. Alright, and Tella will break one of these fuckers. Just in case the stop wears off. we go. Oh shit. Next, we gotta use another hourglass. Actually, you know what? We'll be fine. Uh, as long as we get break in there before he gets another turn. And look at that, we actually made it just barely. Woo, that was rough. Look at all that fucking XP. There's some more levels to go around. There's a teleport. Which maybe we'll use to get the fuck out of here. And go heal yet again. Nope, I gotta walk out. So I'm gonna walk out, heal, and then we'll come right back. Alright, so here we are, back at Eblon Castle for the last time. Um, but yeah, we, we fucking cleaned house. I'm, I'm happy so far. We made it through that other fight pretty bad that one's pretty rough too the next one isn't as bad that's probably the hardest fight here technically speaking oh look at that i didn't know that was there i'm still concerned about oh no we did get that one well never mind when did i get that ah fuck it i don't care all right let's fall down the hole it goes down the hole and there's a way to get over there there we go to get a silver hourglass, which is a upgraded version of the bronze hourglass. So, you know, fucking A. This time I will try not to accidentally waste a turn by swapping motherfucking rows. Because that has not helped me once. <laughs> and it's an accident, too. It's a freak accident. I, I forget that item is not at the bottom of the list anymore. We obtain a silver apple with an enemy ambush. This probably is the most intimidating fight, but not really the hardest. Um, the, yes, and there is a chance a character could get knocked out. But just don't worry about it. Pick them back up. They'll be fine. And we'll let Tello do all the heavy lifting. With, uh, where is it? Break. Again, break comes again to save the day. Um, which is, again, very fucking useful. A lot of people have told me in the past, break's a shitty spell. It's, it's totally not. You just have to know who to use it on. If you know who to use it on, it's a fucking excellent spell. Um, but again, that's assuming that you know who to use it on. We're gonna fiddle with this. I've never used this before. Let's try it out. I think it adds the element to his weapon, which doesn't really do us any direct good, but I don't know. It's just to show it to you guys. 
I believe now all of his attacks are Earth Elemental from this point on. Again, if you give a shit about that, yay. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's irrelevant. If you want to beat these guys without using the Hourglass, I would suggest putting Poison... Not Poison. Uh, bio on all of them. Because magic only does one damage to them. So, in other words, it does you directly no good. It does you, the player, really nothing. So, again, I don't know why you would waste your time doing that, but there are people who are... Whoa, 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 whoa. There are people who can. Who do do that. And that's up to you. But again, just get in your fucking ship and go recover for free. Why not, right? And this battle is one. And this, I think this fight gives you the most possible XP. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it does. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, look at that. Somebody might level twice, and Sid did. He gained one from 23 to 25. Cecil hits level 30. Tella hits 32. And Yang goes up two levels to 29 as well. <clears throat> Sweet. And we get a really unique item. Um, you don't get a lot of these in the game, so cherish and rel cherish it. Where is it? It is the Silver Apple. Rate increases maximum HP permanently by 50. We're going to hold on to this till we get two specific characters, and then we're going to worry about that. Book of Iblani Iblanese Arcana. Hmm. All right, so that concludes Castle Ibelon. I keep saying Ibelon. Ibelon. I keep putting an extra A in there. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. So if anybody tells you you can't handle it, I just showed you how to make them your bitch. And go, booyah, look at that motherfucker. All right. We're off to Troya. Tr Troya. Troya, Troya, whatever. We're off to the water fuck place. Earth crystal, rather. All right, so let's land this bitch and go into the castle first. You can go into the town first, it really doesn't matter. Just know that there's both places. And as a kid, I always loved the music here. I don't like this arrangement. I still like the original arrangement of it. Uh, special Holds a special place in the cockles of my heart. Yeah, boy. I wonder who it could be. Oh, God, no. Edward. Cecil. So you survived, too. You cannot know how I've worried. I, I must fight by your side again. Fight. Fight to stay on your feet, perhaps. Don't be a fool. You need to rest and recover. Tella, you are well, then. Please accept my apologies for what happened to to Anna. She died because because of me. No, no, no that I truly. <laughs> Edward, you mustn't strain yourself to speak. Yang, you're alive too. What of what of Redia? Uh, I could not save her. I see the, the poor child. Forgive me. All of you are fighting, but I uh, and I but lie in bed. Don't you worry. Uh, don't you worry, lad. Me and me enterprise are taking up the slack. <laughs> I hear you risked your neck for Cecil and Ruser. Now it's my turn. You just leave things to all Sid for a while. You're Sid? Then you escaped with an airship. Wait, Cecil, what's become of Rosa? She remains captive. They've demanded Troya's Earth Crystal in exchange for her life. But the crystal is already gone, stolen by a, a dark elf. A dark elf, you say? <laughs> That's all I want you to have this. What is it? The only way I can accompany you now. Please, carry it with you. And we get the whisper weed. Were you smoking this, Edward? Cecil, you must save Rosa. Blech. Edward's harp rests upon the floor. Wait a minute, I took his harp. <laughs> All right. You must do this. You must do this before you continue on. If you continue on without doing this, a jackass you are. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. Holy moly. 
hey baby uh, I'm, a, I'm a paladin you want to you want to get together maybe a little later let me let me you know put my my, my dong between your tits bam 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 motorboat can i motorboat them boobies oh that's right i'm saved for rosa of course for only for her you can't blame a guy for trying i mean come on come on come on and you can see there's a secret room there, but I don't believe we have access yet. Okay, yeah, we can't do that yet. Even if you say yes, she's like, I doubt you have permission. And then I say, I doubt those tits are real. Let's move on. You're a Texas good. <laughs> this day and age. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're a Texas. Yay? If I've said anything that's hurt you or offended you, fuck you if you can't take a fucking joke. <laughs> Famous last words. And we're going to get a bunch of really interesting free items here that we will literally be exploiting the shite out of. Ether, ether, give me all the fucking drugs. And a ruby ring and a ruby ring. That's actually what makes coming to the castle first very important. <laughs> We already went down there. Now, if you go and talk to the prophets, they'll tell you about the Dark Elf. And pretty much what he is, is he lives in a cave where he has a field of magnetism. Uh, okay. And they'll give us some information here. You cannot... Yeah, we can't get the Earth Crystal. Northeast, any metal weapons or armor, the magnetic field will render you nearly immobile. In other words, and that's all you needed to know. So where the the Dark Elf is, is a place that has a magnetic field around it. So anybody wearing physical armor, metal armor, any character wearing metal weapons, armor, accessories, anything metal, will cause you to be stunned, paralyzed of all movement. With that said, we need to look at some gear sets here. The first thing is we just remove the shield. We're going to put a wizard's hat on Cecil for the time being. We're going to put a Gaia gear on him and a ruby ring because we've got three. I think I have, we might have to get a fourth one. Yeah, we're going to have to get a fourth one. Um, so yeah, that'll be a thing. Uh, Tala's mostly set. He'll have, we'll put a flame rod on him. That's a little better down there. Uh, this is pretty good and a ruby ring for him. We could buy ruby rings, so that's not an issue. They're just a little pricey, but we've got money. Uh, same for Numnuts here. And he's actually good. His claws are not affected, uh, by bullshit, so he's fine. We'll put a headband on Sid because that gives him a boost in strength. We're gonna leave the Mithril Helm on for now, though. I'm gonna leave all this armor on for now. And his, we're going to swap his mithril hammer for a wooden hammer. We still have to get to the cave. So so all I did easily right now was swap out ruby rings for silver rings. That's not a big deal. We still are short one ruby ring, though. So let's, I believe you can buy them here. Pretty sure about that, too. Uh, yes, they're a 1000 It's a little pricey, but that's fine. We don't need to buy anything else. We're set. Now... In the DS version, they put uh, shard items in here. So let's see how that works now. Are they still shard items, or did they change it again? Fire shard, frost shard, thunder shard. This is shit. Uh, now, I don't think I have a bow. No, I do not. So we'll just take a uh, fire shard, I guess. There's no reason to not... And you can check that out. It's a fucking piece of shit is what it is. Yay. So we'll equip that later. But it's not metallic. I want to say they removed Cecil's ability to use bows. Um, we could always, you know what, we'll gear up and then I'll go fly around to, uh, strangely enough, we can go to uh, Agart and get a power bow there. So they might have something of use. That's interesting now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, let's go get some free shit, because there's another one of these fucking places. 
and all the girls are bathing, the pedophile is watching. I believe there might be something at the end here, nope. And there should be a place for us to get out here. I'm relatively sure there's items to find. There's a dry ether. Another regular ether. Again, ethers are very useful, so make sure you're picking them up. There's a thousand gill and a decoy, so that's good. I want to say there's a few other items. And I believe they are at the end of the water here. Well, not that I'm not sure where they are. Yeah, okay. I was right. We'll just walk here till we find it all. I think I think that's all of it. I think we got everything in the water area. All right, let's head back out. And there's a little something new. There's another fucking naming wave skit that needs to be done here as well. I swear there's like an item, one more item somewhere. That part of me is driving me nuts. Alright. There's also another thing too. Um, <clears throat> this is the pub. I wanna, it's one of these guys. He offers you a thing for a thousand gil. Or several thousand gil, rather. I'm sorry. And it gets you into the secret place where an augment is. We're not going to bother with that right now because we need the, all of our money. So. Wow. It's a fucking harem up here. This guy. I forget who it is. Well, we got to come back here later anyway and we'll, to get that augment. And it's going to cost us a shit ton of money. But we'll do that when money is no longer an issue. I'm looking for Rabbit Fucker here. There he is, Rabbit Fucker. Oh, hello, sissy. We have uh, certainly run into one another often enough, don't we? Are you waiting for someone here, too? No, my poison's is done. Mm -hmm. I just assumed. Hmm. You see, I have a date today, or rather two. I promised two different ladies I'd go out with them. Having abandoned my music for other pursuits, I suppose I can remain jamming way no more. It becomes cheating way the two-timer. <laughs> I have to extricate myself from this mess somehow. Please, Cecil, you have to help me. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. I just need you to go to the pub for me. Talk to the lady who works at the bar there and buy me a little time. While you keep her there, I'll take my first date someplace else. Please, I'm counting on you. All right, we'll go do what he wants us to do, little cheating motherfucker. Could I trouble you for some milk? Of course. And then she puts breast milk in there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Uh, there you are, sir. Is some, is there something on your mind? No, 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 not really. Oh, I see. I hope he gets here soon. Ah, uh, there you are. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, Cecil, I really appreciate you doing that uh, thing for me my first time. <laughs> I gave a music box with all my songs to my friend in the Chocobo Forest. I hope you'll consider that my way of saying thanks. If you ever want to listen to it, just talk to him. Woohoo! Well, until then, until we meet again, I'm gonna go get laid! I'm gonna fuck like rabbits! Oh my god, she's dead! Can you see I'm sunbathing? Well, normally people sunbathe with less clothes on. You look like you're fucking dead. Alright. Alright, so we're good, we're good, we're good. I still feel like I'm missing something, but I don't give a shit anymore. I'm gonna keep checking, though. Check, 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 check. Okay, I think we're good. Check, 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 check. Nope. I'm so paranoid. I feel like I'm missing, like, an item of... Intense and great value. Check, 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 check. I did miss one! Oh, see? Me being a dick and being persistent. 
paid off at least a mo some of a high potion. Oh shit, there's another one. Look at that. That's why you check every nook and every cranny. Alright. So that pretty much is all there is to really do in Troya. I can't think of anything else, and really, eh, you should we should have pretty much everything. Like I said, um, there is a thing, and I'll and I'll try to find it. You know, I'll try to find it for you guys. And oh shit, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, a hundred thousand gil. And they sell some random shit, too, so if you're interested in this stuff, go for it, but eh. Alright, something to keep in mind for later. We're not gonna buy it now, we don't have 100,000 gil. And even if I did, I wouldn't spend it right now, because I'm fucking broke as shit. So, let's head outside. Now, what we know is that there's no place for us to land the airship up here. There's a In the older versions, there's a trick to land it, like, right here. I bet you they removed this functionality. Yes, they did. Back in the day, you used to go, like, right at the edge of the, of the area and actually be able to land your airship. But it looks like they caught on to people doing that. So we'll have to go to the Chocobo Forest up here. But that's not for us to do right now. Right now, I'm going to put my better gear on my characters, because I, I think I put uh, ruby rings on them. Which is not what they need right now. There we go. And we're going to make our way up there on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So thank you guys for enduring, as this was more of a traversing of the overworld. Ooh, I need a heal. Well, we can do that at the Chocobo Forest. Um, so I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RBG Guy. Check us out at www.jackjarstudios.com. You can also check out my Twitch uh, at www.twitch slash TV. No, www.twitch.tv slash Jack Tart Studios, one word, and you can watch the live stream, get there, see RPG games and play live, as well as see the tabletop show known as the Chairman of the Board. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.